Electricity is everywhere, and the salon industry is no exception. Salon professionals depend on the energy of electricity for light, heat, and for electrotherapy and light therapy treatments. It is essential for you to understand the basic theory of electricity and the role electricity plays in cosmetology services. When you watch lightning or feel an electric shock, you have some idea of the power of electricity. Electricity is a powerful and important form of energy. Electricity is a form of energy that produces light, heat, magnetic, and chemical changes. And a salon is full of appliances that use this form of energy. In electrical terms, these appliances are known as loads. They are any device that is waiting to be activated by electric current. The materials that best transport electricity to a load are called conductors, which are silver or copper. This conductor is safely contained in an insulator, which is material that does not allow a current to pass through it. A break in any electrical cord can put you or your client in contact with an active current causing electric shock. Cords that are tangled and full of knots or kinks are subject to breaks in their insulation and that can put you and your client at risk for an electrical shock. When you see the term amp, it relates to strength. A volt is a unit of electric pressure. It measures how hard electrons are being forced through the circuit. AC generators force or push 110 to 220 volts. Large motors, like those in clothes dryers and air conditioners, may require a higher pressure or force of 220 volts. Ohm is a measure of resistance. It measures how difficult it is to push electrons through a conductor. Appliance manufacturers determine the current needed to operate an appliance and then deliver this power with a wire that has an ohms rating that can allow this flow. A watt measures how much electrical energy is being used. A blow dryer can use 1000 watts per second. A light bulb can use 25, 60, or 100 watts per second. The term kilowatt is used to describe larger wattage. One kilowatt equals 1,000 watts. All appliances should have a nameplate with its operating ratings. Look for it on your tools. It will tell you the voltage and wattage of an appliance. It may also have a UL or underwriter's laboratory rating. This means the appliance has been certified to operate safely under the conditions the instructions specify. Electric current comes in two forms. DC, or direct current, means that electrons move at an even rate and only in one direction. Batteries produce direct current. AC, or alternating current, is the other form, which means that its electrons move first in one direction and then the other. AC is produced by generators. It is the current delivered to your wall outlet. Moving electrons through a conductor requires help. This help is referred to as a source. Two common sources are batteries and generators. To produce an electric current, you need a source and a closed path called a circuit through which the electrons travel. If the path is broken, it is called an open circuit. A dryer plugged in and turned on is an example of a closed circuit. When the dryer is turned off, the circuit is open. Overload occurs in an electrical circuit when too many appliances operate off the same circuit. This causes more current to flow through the line than the line was designed to carry. Fires can occur when an extension cord with multiple plugs is used to attach four or five appliances to one wall socket. Another frequent problem is called a short circuit. This happens any time a foreign conductor comes in contact with a wire carrying the current to the appliance. To protect against overloading and short circuits, safety devices such as fuses and circuit breakers are installed in many appliances and buildings. A fuse is a device that contains a fine metal wire that allows current to flow through it. If an overload occurs, the fuse will heat up and the wire will melt, breaking the circuit and cutting the flow of electricity. A circuit breaker is simply a reusable device that breaks the flow of current when an overload occurs. If an overload occurs, turn off the appliance. Go to the power box and open it. Inside, you'll find a row of switches. Look for the switch that is in the off position and turn it on. 
This will reset the breaker and the circuit will again be operating. Human contact with electric current causes a shock and can be fatal. A break in any electrical cord can put you and your client in contact with an active current, which can cause an electric shock. If this happens, you must break the circuit carrying the power by knocking the person out of the circuit using an insulator like a broom, plastic brush, or plastic garbage pail. Then, unplug the appliance, being careful to keep yourself out of the circuit. Finally, rush to the power box and turn off all the circuit breakers. Should an electrical fire occur from an appliance or short circuit, <laughs> don't put water on it. Unplug the appliance and turn off the circuit. Smother the fire with a rug, heavy towel, or a powder such as cornstarch or laundry detergent. Or use a fire extinguisher.